are we are and understand what we call the language of the ocean. Um, I don't think I will have the time to, de to uh, explain all the elements of this uh, A navigation system, which are also modules, the star compass called PAFU, the WOFANO, which is uh, more or less a virtual system of uh, different ATACs, which where you can find uh, different animals on a journey from one island to another, which is also part of the system. Um, then, very important, Pukulav, wife, wife tying, finding your course using the big swells of the Pacific and also what every <coughs> civil engineer or hydraulic engineer knows, uh, diffraction and refraction if you come closer to an island and many other things. If you can read the ocean, you will never be lost. That's what Mao Pierre Luc said. Well, the stars again. Uh, the toolbox is much bigger than I said. Star culmination, zenit stars. This is the southern uh, uh, sky as we see maybe this evening here. Again, those two developed the uh, journeys of this Polynesian World Voyaging Society. Uh, well, I will not propose a navigation, if I call it so, for today, because the risk might be too big if somebody fails just relying on his feeling and so, but I think there is something basic in it what we should keep in mind and what we also need is the excellent system designer. Many of them are here in the room and have shared their knowledge the last days and also the excellent navigator and that's also part of the message of this ancient navigation. So, with the people again from Polynesian Voyaging Society, and I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. We have some time for uh, some questions. Thank you, uh, Seamus, to our commission of Irish Lights. Um, Jerry Bryan, uh, in his uh, discussion of uh, the Macari Lighthouse project uh, reminded me of some of our own experiences. Um, we tried dehumidification as a means of controlling humidity in the towers uh, at one or two lighthouses and in fact we found that it was detrimental because it set up a, a, an irreversible decay process in granite. Uh, so I would advise anyone considering that to beware. Uh, but if I could ask Jerry a question in relation to the uh, water ingress problems and the dam problems that I think he referred to uh, in Macari, did he identify what was the source of the problem and any means uh, for correcting it? Thank you. Certainly the source was identified and um, treated um, in terms of the, the stone. It was not sort of being familiar with the particular details of it um, as to exactly how, what treatment was applied, but it was certainly resolved and before they put a final sort of coating on it, clear coating on the, on the stone. So um, I'd need to sort of actually get that for you, but I'd um, be happy to sort of set that on.
among the Callistians? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, my question for John James Crawford is uh, can the declaration of the uh, uh, national uh, monument of the lighthouse limited the update to the lighthouses like platform for the new technology uh, prohibiting, prohibiting the installation of new antenna or new facilities will remove the old equipment for the new one? Yes, thank you for your question. I think it could be, but not in Chile, because the government has uh, knows already knows and has uh, is trusting our technical appreciation of the situations. Then, if we said that if we need uh, some antennas or we need another device, they will follow our instructions or our recommendations, and they will apply it, and they we will get the authorization in order to do that. Then I think we will not have, we will not be a problem in Chile. Thank you. Okay, then I ask the panel um, what they do with the mercury they remove from their historic lighthouses. Uh, excuse me, uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, could you ask again, please? Sorry. No, my dear friend, um, in Oman, we removed the mercury from a similar lighthouse that you had problems with because of um, uh, min minor uh, tremors in the north of Oman. Um, it's now sitting outside my office. What do you, 278 kilograms of it, what do you do with the mercury that you removed from your lighthouse? I know that it's a kind of the health matter that uh, I know that some, uh, especially mercury vapor, some uh, contaminated to the human health body. But uh, in our law, still uh, we consider that uh, non-organic mercury is not harmful for so many. And so we still are uh, using uh, some uh, mercury buses and uh, it's not so big problem for us and uh, it's still working well. So maybe we can use the mercury bus as long as possible. Um, I have a question for the Japanese Coast Guard guy. Uh, the arresting of the, earth, uh, the, the seismic tremors was all done in the X and Y planes. Is there any reason to do it in a Z plane? top of the lighthouse tower is maybe it's a, even to the earthquake uh, movement of the earth ground is very small but the lighthouse tower itself uh, what is it, uh, magnetized or uh, makes movement more heavily in the horizontal way because of the tower not uh, vertical way so that Issue is uh, how to reduce the horizontal, how to reduce the horizontal movement on the top of the such high towers. So the, of course it's uh, reduced some way, but uh, we only consider the horizontal way movement of the earthquake damage. Well, if you have any more questions, <coughs> we have this uh, question formula. You can fill in and uh, you can put out the answer in the other the end. So thank you all speakers for um, keeping the time, Do very well, and uh, for an excellent presentation. And I want you all to join me with, with an applause for a well done presentation.
now it's time for coffee. And uh, I suppose we will be back at 11 o'clock.